Hey everybody, Centurion Leaf Spar here again. So, we're gonna do two more openings right now. We have got two cans, actually. We have got one old, one new. This first one is a Ken Sparkle Surprise. It comes from the, ooh, his plastic is falling right apart. Are you gonna give me a date? 1991, back when Ken and Barbie were at their, in my opinion, the most fabulous. With his handsome new face. And we have a very new, actually incredibly, incredibly new, Barbie Skipper Babysit Babysitters Inc. Not what I would call a kin though, but they didn't they have not give him a name. Which is really, really odd because I know most of the other juvenile Barbies have a name such as Skipper, Midge, and the like. So he doesn't have a name. We're gonna call him Ben. We're going to start with Retro Ken, which was a Goodwill find for $2.99 on a green day. So I got him for $1.50. I will not be... Re His clothes are in really good shape. I just thought... And he has accessories. Sorry to change the subject. I will not be removing his clothes. I was trying to see if he was dusty. He is in remarkably good shape for... Um, for the era he is from, I am older than he is, but that is okay. He comes with a gift for Barbie. That is not the accessory that I am talking about. Sorry if I'm talking so fast. But I love the fact that he is... He's from an era that I started playing with Barbie. And when I came into the doll hobby, who, like his suit is somewhat stuck to the plastic. So having to tread carefully. He comes from an era in which I had started playing with Barbie. So 1991. Yeah. Whoo. Yeah. He's... It's not too bad. It was just right here. He was starting to rub. Otherwise, got that sparkly cummerbund, pink vest. Is it a vest? It is a vest, so it is not up underneath the sleeve. And that was one of the reasons why I really don't want to dress and undress him. I'm pretty sure with how vintage this outfit is, I don't know how much wear and tear this thing could honestly take at this point. I would rather get him dressed, put him in a doll stand, and just appreciate for, appreciate him for who he is. A 1991 can. I'm going to get his shoes out super fast. Oh, he's got something else in here. I don't know if people are playing with fireworks still. The 4th of July like never ends around here. Once people start with the Barbies or start with the Barbies Lord. I got Barbies on the brain. Start with the fireworks. They never want to end. He's got some nice black loafers. I will go ahead and get the loafers on him 
There we go. And what the other item that came in here was like an iridescent tie. There we go. So I could remove this pink tie and replace it with the iridescent one, which I may or may not do. Now, I spoke earlier that he came with accessories, which indeed he actually does. A one-year limited warranty. I'm sure it has most definitely expired. These are his accessories. A bouquet, car keys, a wallet, cologne, a watch, a corsage, a brush, some money, and a alternate bow tie. I'm not popping these out. I won't use them. I'll put them with my other Barbie stickers that never get used. Okay, six minutes and moving along. I'm really sorry that if this feels like I'm production lining this stuff, but any of these items you really, really want to see in just obscene detail, shoot me a comment way down below, way down below, just go way down there, uh, down below in the comment section. And I will be happy to do an in-depth. This guy I was super happy to find. Remember, we're calling him Ben. This is Ken's younger brother. From the Babysitter's Ink line. Each doll is sold separately, subject to availability. Colors and decorations may vary naturally. So these are the other four girls. They've also got babies from what I have been able to find out naturally that go along with the babysitters. And I think there's actually some accessories as well. Really, you got him all strapped in, including like a cable tie to the head. It's really not necessary. He doesn't even have hair. Nothing is going to become that disheveled. But here he is. White shoes, standard pants, and I thought it was a cell phone for about half a second when I picked him up, but it is not. It is actually a baby monitor that my phone will not focus on, but it is a baby monitor. He has got, and I really didn't do this with, these, with the others, and I'm very, very sorry, but all of these will share the exact same points of articulation as this guy here. Um, a turn at the head, a swivel at the arm, and uh, a bend at the hip. Included with Ben, the babysitter, sorry for the lack of imagination with Ben, let's give him an exotic name, Philip. It doesn't have to be Ken and Ben. It's, it's Ken and Philip. One moment. I'm back. Because this is the tiniest thing in the world, we have an itty bitty baby bottle for Philip to give whatever child he is babysitting at the time. Um. This, the face sculpt is primarily the reason that I picked this guy up and the smaller body style. Again, I'm going to complain about articulation yet again because if he had been articulated, this would have been a really good opportunity to throw a really a different um, stature in with the Kens 
but just because he's got such a dramatically different face mold, if he does get rebodied, I'm very pleased with it regardless. So these are the two Kins, one from the 90s and one from the 2018s. And it only took me about 11 minutes and some of that will even be cut out. So this is video number two of I don't know how many. Thank you for joining me. This has been Satyrian Leaf Spar. Remember, love yourself, love each other, love your dolls, try to love everybody else's too. Hope you all have a great rest of the night. Bye.